guys I'm back to do a quick simple everyday makeup look I'm gonna start off with moisturizing my lips with this organic lip balm I like it because it has a hoba avocado and hemp oil in it all right so my for my skincare prep I'm going to use a serum by lion pose and I really like this because it's got a 15% blend of azelaic glycolic lactic and tranexamic acid and it also has glutathione and hyaluronic acid so if you have issues with dark spots hey this would be the way to go plus it really um it really helps the makeup to kind of stick to the skin and for my brows i'm just going to use this brow pomade by beauty creation i got it at my local drugstore super super cheap very pocket friendly and I feel as though it goes on really well plus um, I don't have any issues with it running or any weird things and it plays well with a lot of other makeup So for my foundation, I'm going to use this Stay Perfect Foundation by number seven. And I initially bought this at a local drugstore. And now I don't see that it's sold at Walgreens. However, it's sold in like the UK. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But you can find it at Walgreens. Not Walgreens, Walmart. But anyway... I really like this it's got medium coverage and it's got vitamin C vitamin E vitamin A um, it's an antioxidant complex hyaluronic acid sodium hyaluronate um, just the list goes on it's really good plus look how good it looks on the skin very 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 pretty if you haven't tried any of like number seven's products I would strongly suggested um they also have another foundation by um well not by but the name of it is illuminate illuminate i have to list it down below in the uh, description box uh, just to kind of let you know but they really do have some good products <music> All right, so for my highlight, I'm gonna use this uh, concealer by Laura Mercier. This is the Real Flawless Concealer, and this has some really nice ingredients in it. It's got hydrolipid matrix, and that delivers immediate and time release hydration. It has paracris extract, which smooths, firms the look of skin, and it has camellia seed and cacao extract, with, which is a enriched, antioxidant formula that defends against environmental stressors so you know with concealers I would say if you have to kind of pick and choose which products you're gonna spend most of your money on I would say you know go for the foundations and the concealers so yeah this was a really pretty one it doesn't the coverage isn't that you know it's really not that heavy as you can see but it gives you just enough for an everyday simple quick beat Alright, so next up, I'm going in with the Pore Eclipse Matte Translucent Setting Powder by Milk Makeup. And believe it or not, guys, this one does not have talc. It has niacinamide, bakucha oil, uh, lentil extract, and it also has blurring microspheres. And as you can see, it really does a good job of blurring out those bags that I have under my eyes.
All right, and for a bronzer, I'm going to use a bronzer that I have held on to for dear life by Jouer. And I really like this one because I like the color. I like how it looks on my skin tone. I don't even know if they sell it in anymore. If they do, I'll link it down below. But I really like the color. So, you know, some people like bronzers that lean up a little bit more red some a little bit more neutral it just kind of depends i feel as though this shade works really well with my skin tone all right and for a highlighter if you know me you know i love the cream highlighters and this is a highlighter by mango people this is the dewy glow cream highlighter stick and guys this has let's see black currant extract brahmi um, rosemary extract and all of it is going to help moisturize the skin help you keep and retain moisture and help calm the skin but look how pretty this is on the skin and no I did not set it you do not even need to set it sometimes I just wear this without powder or anything like that just bare face you know no other makeup and for the lip liner as you can see I'm using the one size and I really like this shade this is another shade that works really well for me So we're rocking the milk makeup again with their Kush Hydrating Sheer Lip Oil. And it's got all the kinds of hemp seed oil, sunflower seed oil, and Camilla Japonic seed oil. All of it's going to hydrate the skin. And right here, I'm just adding a nude lip gloss. Um, I thought I wanted to just do the clear oil, but I decided I want a little bit of color. And that's all that's going on right here. Alright, and right here I am using the Professional Mascara by Makeup From Forever. This is their 24-hour double-ended lifting and volumizing mascara. I really like those mascaras that have the little bitty tiny 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 brushes that I can really go in and grab my small microscopic lashes on and I feel as though you know if you don't have any lashes even the best of mascaras can only do so much that's just my little opinion um, this one also has a uh, like a growth uh, conditioner or something added to it that's supposed to help with the lashes uh, I don't know that I've been using it consistently enough or long enough for to really speak to that aspect of it but I think that it does you know there's kind of a vibe going on after I apply the mascara. You can definitely let me know what you think down in the comments. But I really like how it makes the lower lashes look. last up we got the setting spray and since I didn't use powder for most of my face I'm gonna go ahead and use this mattifying setting spray and it's got green tea extract and witch hazel tell me what you think this is the final look really simple hey you can wear this every day to work church wherever super simple let me know what you think down in the comments <music> 